What's happening, YouTube community? So the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference was a couple days ago. And of course, Apple released the keynote, which I like to call, skip everything until you see the iPhone 4, then stop and watch the rest. So we talked about the next generation iPhone, and I figured if you didn't want to watch the whole two hour presentation, or just the hour and 20 minutes he talks about the iPhone 4, that I'd make a little compressed video of what I think are the most important points. So let's get in there. The whole thing is completely redesigned on the outside. Now I didn't like it at first, but it's kind of growing on me. Glass on the front and the back for sleek styling, very sexy. Volume controls on the outside along with a little mute switch. And it has a stainless steel band on the outside that acts as the antenna. That cool band around the outside that's aesthetically pleasing is also the antenna. That's cool! It's got a new display that they're dubbing the Retina display. It's the highest resolution screen that's ever been on a phone. 940 by 640. 326 pixels an inch. That's a lot. And evidently the ability for the human eye to differentiate between pixels ends around 300. That means it wouldn't matter if the screen was a higher resolution anyway because your eye couldn't tell the difference. He talks about the new A4 chip. And basically all you need to know about that is that it performs better and helps save battery life. Speaking of battery life, you have 7 hours talk time, 6 hours 3G browsing, 10 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours video watching, 40 hours music, and 300 hours standby. Oh yeah, and the whole build is very green, very eco-friendly. One of the things that I thought was pretty cool was the new gyro. So you can tell not only when you're going like this, but now, also when you're going like this. I see the possibility of physical danger in public gaming. Almost got the high score here. <laughs> oh, my bad, man. And I'm going to bring a few minutes of fluff down to a few seconds of information. The new camera is 5 megapixels, better overall, especially in low-light situations, and has an LED flash. Coming from a photographer's perspective, I'm really excited about the camera because some of the sample photos look really good. Like, amazing good. Going on about the camera, it now records 720p at 30fps. Bye-bye, oh, Flip. Seriously, all the little Flip camcorders? Don't need them anymore. They're also releasing an app, iMovie for iPhone. You can record your footage on your phone, edit it on your phone, and upload it straight from your phone. This is another one of those things that Apple releases as such an amazing new feature that's happened to have been around for a couple of years now. Like editing on the phone, or multitasking, or anything else the older generation iPhones could do if you just jailbreak them. But that rant is for another video. The iPhone OS 4 is now renamed to the iOS 4 since they're using it on every mobile device, the iPad, the iTouch, the iPhone, whatever else they'll release. They highlight the virtual books and the iAds that they're going to be using on the iPhone now. And finally, what has the potential to be the coolest feature on an iPhone ever, but also has the potential to just be a really cool feature that's kind of pointless. Video calling. What they're calling FaceTime. Yes, it's awesome. He demoed it. It's exactly what you think video calling should be. Easy, fun, futuristic. But of course there are catches. Both people have to have iPhone 4 to use it, and you can only use it on Wi-Fi. I can kind of understand it because all the cell networks aren't exactly up to par to handle everyone video calling all the time. So that's whatever, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be $199 with a 2 year contract for the 16 gig and $299 for the 32 gig. Black or white, whatever suits your fancy. And that's pretty much what he said about the iPhone. I am excited about it, especially the camera, for picture taking and video recording. I'm JGB, cliche YouTube phrase, comment, rate, subscribe.